Hello everybody, welcome to number 67 of the lockdown series. I've just unpacked the kiln and here's the uh, video of that. Okay, I'm just uh, opening the kiln now, I've just opened the top, it's still a bit warm. But uh, first uh, peek inside. Looks promising. This big one here was on shelves and uh, it didn't topple over. Fortune favours the brave. Let's get the Okay, list. the wicket's open now. Uh, first observations on the firing is it's pretty good. Uh, I'm quite pleased with it so far. Uh, and the uh, main reason for that is that I'll show you. There is very little signs of oxidation. This little plate here has got a little flickering of it on the side there. And down here, you can see, I don't know if you can, get out the light. But down here, there's a little bit of oxidation on those two cups. But all the way up the stack, through the top where we got oxidation before, and the, all these pots here, all these pots are red. There's no oxidation from the front at the moment, I can see. And uh, there's two reasons, I think, for that. One is that I left in heavy body reduction well past the 1100 I normally take it out at. I left it until 1150 uh, and then I didn't take it out as much towards the end. Plus I went back to an old style of firing that I did uh, a few years ago and I stopped doing it. And that was I have here some wood. And what I do, what I do is I move the burner out of the way and I post wood into the burner port and it's almost like a, the end of a wood firing. Now it doesn't do um, the wood firing effect of ash, or what it can do sometimes is put a little face on pots uh, and I used to do that years ago uh, and I stopped doing it. Uh, it added an extra couple of hours to the end of the, the firing and I used to get tired and think okay that'll do. I got a bit lazy. Well, I went back to it now so it might be that, it might be the longer, it might be the longer um, uh, uh, stammer. <laughs> it might be uh, the longer body reduction or it might be that wood but whichever it uh, was it worked. Okay we'll get these pots out and have a look at them then. Okay so uh, let's take a look at some of these uh, pots that have come out. First one uh, is the big one that, um, that was on, on its fired on its side. You can see here it's worked really well. A bit of crawling there, but it really doesn't matter. I don't think. But the uh, it's like a galaxy through there. The only drawback is that it was in the kiln like that, and it's rolled that way slightly and touched the shelf. Uh, but even that doesn't matter. I don't think for this pot. It's just part of the character of it. I really, really like it. It's got legs as they say. That's where it sat on the shelves. It's deformed a little bit which is even nicer. If you can see it's flattened that edge off but all in all that is a really really nice pot. Pleased with that. It's worth firing just for that one. Okay, um, <coughs> the little cups, they all came out okay. The trivets worked, as you've just seen. So I'm pleased that that uh, I'm pleased that's worked. Um, I got rid of the uh, oxidation. The only oxidation I got was um, a tiny little bit on the bag wall for, that, for those pots there. Whereas before it was almost a third of the kiln. <coughs> so excuse me. Uh, they've come out okay. So they're the only ones. Two of those, the only ones that oxidised out of the whole kiln, which is fantastic. This is the plate I did a few weeks ago with the textured rim. 
unfortunately it's got a couple of blemishes on the foot ring but um, I put um, holes in it so that it can be hung if it came out okay but, uh, so that worked um, these are some really groggy black clay that I use chunky black did these a few years ago and I've just done some more they're quite nice um, the one before the couple of firings ago I got one of these that where the where the um, the blue cobalt run I think what I'm doing is I'm getting it a bit too hot these are in the top of the kiln and they're, they're beautiful pots but I've not got the blue showing through yet but you can see it on one of these ones that will lower down if I can find it. <laughs> Here we go. The blue showing through there. Now this was slightly lower down in the kiln, so maybe it doesn't need to get so hot. So I need to pay attention to that. This is some black clay that I put this <coughs> effect on, this coca glaze. But underneath I put a white a white swirl with a blue uh, cobalt brush stroke inside of it and as you can see there you've got the pink of the dolomite and the blue of the cobalt running in and it's happened again there so it is controllable so they'll be, uh, they'll be um, pursued make some of these little uh, mouse cups for the children's mouse cups with a mouse inside for a friend they've all quite okay um, so all in all uh, a very good firing I'd give it uh, first first effect um, 8 out of 10 but a couple of a uh, couple of mishaps where they touched other things and there's a couple of plates in the bottom that have split for some reason. I don't know. They were in the cooler part. So it might have sort of cooled too quickly and it caused them to split. But they're the same pots as these here. So I think it's a kiln thing rather than a, a body thing. Problem. But, uh, and I've had a few. You can see here. This is a really nice one. But it's just dripped over the edge too far. So I've just got to grind that off but these will be nice pots so I've got about six six t-balls to just grind the tips of these off so they sit nice but uh, all in all uh, not so many failures the experiment I did with this um, <coughs> this nuka glaze it's basically felt it's basically um, never sign out with a little tiny bit of clay. This needs some work, it's not come out as I wanted, it's split. But these were experiments in the really cold bit of the kiln at the bottom, and then it fired to cone 8, but definitely cyanite only fires to 12, 20. So I've stiffened it up with a little bit of clay. So I need to work on this, but uh, uh, I have to have a project going all the time with the way my brain works. For a little ADD, I have to have something to concentrate on all the time so uh, that's a work in progress um, not a bad start so although they failed um, they're not an abject failure and there's something that we can work on so there we are today's firing uh, I'm going to check this big one inside have a good look at it over a cup of tea Okay, that was it for number 67. Uh, like I said in the video, uh, 8 out of 10 for that one. I think maybe it could be a 9 once I've got all the uh, other pots ground off and uh, we'll get a few of them on the Etsy site. Um, more to follow. Okay, see you soon.